First of all, we want to say, you know, congratulations. You're in the month of February. You only have a couple of months left of high school, and you'll be walking across that stage. Um, we do want to talk to you really quick, though, because we've done this a long time. Every year, we're in here with you guys. We won't see every single face that's sitting here right now won't be with us on May 22nd. So if we can encourage you, we want to encourage you to get your grades handled, make sure you're passing your classes, and then also make sure you're making good decisions. We don't want anybody to not be at graduation with us because of a bad decision, because of a failing class. We would like all of your beautiful faces to be with us on Wednesday, May 22nd. So please keep that in mind. Behave and do what you're supposed to do the next couple months. You're going to make some amazing memories, guys. This is going to be some of the best times of your life. So make it that and try to keep all of the bad decisions out of there. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. The back of the first page is just a brief little letter from Mr. Thomas, basically saying what I just said. You are responsible for all the information in this packet. So please pay attention and um, ask questions at the end if you need to. We're going to go ahead and go to the senior event timeline. You got a very detailed timeline of what's going to happen in the next couple of months. Let's quickly go through some of these and hit the high point. First thing is on Monday, March 4th, that's this coming Monday, your cap and gowns will be here. You're going to be picking those up. That's if you ordered them in a good, timely manner. If you ordered them yesterday, they will not be here on, on March 4th, on Monday. So if you had them, if you ordered it, they're going to be here. You're going to pick it up on the indoor track of the gym during your luncheon. You'll go out there, it's kind of like an assembly line, you go through, you'll get all your stuff that you ordered. If something's wrong, you need to reach out to ATL Grad. If you order late, you can reach out to ATL Grad to find out when it's going to ship. If you have not ordered your cap and gown, what are you doing? Because you're not going to have what you need to walk. So please, please come talk to me. Um, talk to one of your teachers if you've got an issue. But we've got to get that order immediately uh, for you to be able to participate. All right, Tuesday, March 5th is our next advisement. We will do our class of 2024 picture. So if you're here on that day, we'll go to the gym and we will be in the shape of the 2024. March 16th is prom. Friday, April 26th is your junior senior charge ceremony. That is during the school day. It starts at 9 a.m. We ask that you all dress nicely that day for the ceremony. So plan accordingly, have some nice outfits, try to be in dress code, please. Um, we will do a ceremonial changing of the guard, so to speak, where we charge the juniors to take over the school. We will also be doing some senior things with, um, you know, your keepsake box. We'll announce Mr. and Ms. SPHF. We'll do a teacher dedication. We'll have our yearbook day. So it's a big day. Please plan to be here on April 26th. All right, next, skipping into May. May 14th and 15th. That is when you're going to take your senior exams. That is the week before graduation. Senior exams will start on the 14th with your third and fourth block classes, and that'll be a normal school day. So we'll have our normal first, second, third, fourth. You'll come to classes you normally are here for. I know a lot of y'all are minimum day or normal enrollment. Um, we will third and fourth that day, yes. Then Wednesday, May 15th, you'll take first and second. Then seniors are dismissed after their finals. You are officially done with school at that point, and you will go home. Um, you also are going to be turning in your laptops on the two days of your finals. So May 14th and 15th, you're going to have to get to the media center at some point to turn in your laptop and your charger. So keep that in mind. We're going to talk about fees and fines in a minute and holds on your name. That will also play into that. If you don't turn in your laptop, you will have a hold on your name. You will not be able to participate in graduation ceremony. So we'll get to that in a minute, but you're going to turn in your laptop then. All right. Sunday, May 19th, is your baccalaureate service. If you've never heard of what a baccalaureate service is, it is a you know, long-standing tradition that we do on the Sunday before graduation. It is an inspirational, spiritual service. It is not mandatory for you. We encourage you to come. Our student government plans it. Students that are in your class will participate in it. And we have um, two speakers you may know. Mr. Byers, um, who participates in SDA, will be there, and then Ms. Shana Harris. One of y'all teachers you're familiar with will also be your speaker. So on May 19th, that will be at Poplar Springs Baptist Church. The address is there. The service will begin at 3 p.m. We ask that you guys arrive by 2.45, and we ask that you dress nicely, please. But once again, that is not mandatory. That is something for you and your family to come and enjoy if you want to. Okay. Then we get to graduation week. So Monday, May the 20th, that is our first graduation practice. 
You need to make sure that when I go over these graduation practice details that you're putting it in your phone, you're setting a calendar reminder, because you can't say I gotta work. We pull you from the line if you're not there, okay? So that's your first graduation practice. You're gonna show up that day at 9 a.m. and you're gonna report to the comments for our senior breakfast. We have Waffle House come. We're gonna have a really yummy breakfast with you guys. And then we're going to go announce our valedictorian, our salutatorian. We're going to announce our top 10 and our honor grads. If you, this is a question I get all the time. If you think you're going to be an honor grad, you will need to bring your burgundy hood. When I say hood, it's that thing that goes right here and kind of hangs down the line. That's all a hood. You bring that burgundy one that first day and we exchange it for you. So if you're an honor grad, you'll give me the burgundy, I'll give you a white. And then that's how you get your white hood. A lot of people get freaked out when they open up their thing and it's not white because they thought they're going to be honor grads. That's how that works. Um, so that's on that first day. So then we go into the gym and we have a practice. Also on that first day, um, if you have an outstanding fine or hold or you haven't paid your dues, you will be pulled from the graduation line. So we have a mark on your card that's going to be your seat. We pull you out of the line. You have to go to the media center and you've got to figure out your fine. Guys, these can be fines like from ninth grade, like not turning in a book from ninth grade. So it's important that I'm telling you now so you can go check it out. I'll tell you how to check it out in a minute. Get all of that handled. You don't want to be pulled out of line. It's not fun. And then you miss like the information that I'm giving you. So make sure you get your fines handled. But anyway, we're going to get done by 12 that day. So make your plans from 9 to 12 on that Monday. Also on Monday, later in the day, that will be our date for our powder puff game. Our powder puff game will be at 4.30, and we usually have like a senior tree. Last year we did a senior picnic, we had a food truck. It's a fun day. Also, if some of the parents like to decorate parking spots with chalk, we usually encourage them to come and do it that night as well. All right, Tuesday, May 21st, you guys are going to report to me in the gym at 8.30 in the morning. We will start our graduation practice. We'll do attendance, we'll be on time, and we will hopefully get out on that day by 11. It'll be a quicker practice, maybe a little bit earlier. My Val and Sal and my class officers will stay and we'll run through our speaking parts at that point. All right, Wednesday is a big day. You've got a very big day on Wednesday, May 22nd. You will be here with me to start with at 8.30 that morning. It's going to be a long day. All right, 8.30 that morning, you're going to report to the gym for our final practice. Guys, we start in the gym, we do attendance, we go through a couple of important things. Then we practice how you're going to line up how you're going to walk, because on graduation night, we start in the gym. We sit down, we line up, and then we process out to the field. So we will practice that. We'll practice walking on the field, how to find your seat, walking across the stage, getting back to your seat. So that's our really big practice. Hopefully I will have you out. I will have you out by 12 o'clock on that day, for sure. All right, Wednesday night, graduation. Guys, this is important. If you're talking, you're going to miss it. We are opening the gates to everyone at 5 o'clock, the gates to the campus and the gates to the stadium. So that means that not only are you guys trying to get into the stadium or get in on campus, but there's a lot of parents that are going to be trying at the same time. So there is a ton of traffic that tries to come onto this campus at the same time. We ask that seniors try to get here between 5 and 5.30 that night so that we can park you and we are not worried about any of you guys stuck on Corn Store because you can't get onto the property. So um, go ahead and make plans, 5.30 at the latest. When you come onto campus, they will instruct you to go around the back and they're gonna come around the side and you're gonna park in the bus loop. That'll be senior parking. If you can carpool, that's awesome. Do that, um, but anyway, you'll park over there. Then you'll come to the gym where we will do attendance and then we will do our class of 2024 cap and gown picture. You'll have time to you know, get ready, put your cap and gown on, take pictures with your friends, and honestly, it seems like it's a long time to wait in the gym, but it goes by pretty fast. We start lining up by 7.30 to go out to do an 8 p.m. sharp start um, out on the field. And that is like the last moment that you're all going to be together. So it really is fun. You all, you all hang out, and um, I promise it'll be a good time. So be there by 5.30. All right. Um, after graduation, you actually are going to report to the media center to get your diploma. When you walk across the stage, we give you a empty cover and then you have to come to the media center to get your actual diploma. I will give you all more details about that when we have our graduation practice, but I just wanted you to know. All right, let's flip, guys. That was a long page. 
All right, next is graduation information. The first one is that all practices are mandatory. You must be on time. You cannot leave early. Please plan ahead. Please do not have conflict. If you are not at graduation practice, I pull your name from the line, and you are not in the line anymore. You have to come, or you've got to communicate with me if you have some kind of emergency. So please make sure you make plans now. Now let's talk a little bit more about your senior dues, your holds, um, laptop holds, books, maybe you didn't turn in a uniform to ROTC when you were a 10th grader. Maybe you didn't pay your football fees when you were a 9th grader. Those things can still be on your account, so you're going to need to check on all of that. Plus your senior dues. Senior dues are $65. There's a link right there, a QR code for you to pay that. We only have about 250 kids that have paid that right now, so we need the rest of you to do that as well. Um, if you are unsure about your dues, you can check with Ms. Maz or you can go on RevTrack and look at your order history. But if you're unsure about your fines and your holds, like things like books and uh, laptops and uniforms and fees, that's going to be to check with Ms. Witkowski in the Media Center. She can pull that up and show you and she can also tell you how to clear that fine. Some of you are going to need to work with your coaches and your sponsors. Like if you've got a fine for something like ROTC, you got to talk to Major Newville and Sergeant Glenn and get them to help you figure out what you need to do to clear that fine. All right, skipping on down, guys. In this letter or in this packet, there is a thing about flowers, stage flowers your parents can buy, stage flowers that they will get after graduation. Moving down to inclement weather, we always are hoping and praying it's not going to be any rain, but if there is a torrential downpour and we have to move into the gym, then we have a ticket limit. Um, you only get two tickets, so we all are hoping, praying, crossing our fingers if that doesn't happen, so you probably have more than two people. If we're in the stadium, we do not have a ticket limit. So in the stadium, you can bring whoever, but if we move in for rain, you only have two that can come into the gym, and then everybody else will be ushered into the classrooms to watch it live stream. But like I said, we will do everything in our power to make that not happen. All right, graduation attire, guys. This is really important. Um, we have a very classy graduation ceremony. There are other places you go that it doesn't, it's not as nice as ours. So we want to keep it that way, and we have an expectation of you guys of what we want y'all to wear. I'm telling you now, on February 27th, what I need you to wear underneath your cap and gown so that you have time to take care of that. Let's take a look, guys. If you are walking in our ceremony, you're going to need either black slacks, black shoes, um, and then a white dress shirt. The bow tie or the tie can be whatever color you want. Um, you need black low heel shoes, ladies. I just say low heel because you're walking on that on the turf. If you want to, if you want to tempt fate with high heels, that's up to you. But they got to be black. And then if you're wearing a dress, if it's shorter than the gown, I don't care what color it is. If it hangs out underneath the gown, if it comes lower than the gown, it has to be black. Okay, so that's the thing. Make sure you stick with it. If you come in attire that is not what we have specified, then we will bring out our bin of clothes that we've collected through the years, and you will have to go through that and find something that fits you. And it may not be fashionable, so please make sure you handle it. If you have a financial hardship and you don't think you're going to be able to do this, Come and talk to us, and we will try to work with you ahead of time to get you the clothes that you need. Um, but bottom line, no jeans, no tennis shoes, um, no khaki pants, no flip-flops, and no colored shoes. It has to be black only. And guys, I don't mind at all if y'all snap a picture and send it to me through Canvas to say, like, hey, will these shoes be fine? Please do that. I'd rather tell you ahead of time than you show up on the day of and not have the right clothes on. So send me a picture. Yes, sir. Yeah. Black shoes. Now, like, I, it says no tennis shoes, guys, but some people ask me, like, if they have, like, all black bands or something, if they can do that, and that's okay. All black, we'll work on it, but just ask me a question if you are unsure about whether your outfit you're thinking of is inappropriate, and I'll be glad to tell you. The last thing on your attire, we do not decorate our caps, so don't put anything on the top of your cap when you get it. No paint, no tape, nothing like that. And then no outside regalia, and what that means, guys, is everything you're going to wear around your neck has to be provided by the school. So your cords, your stoles, your pins, those are things you've earned while you're at South Holland High School, not something you've ordered yourself. So no outside regalia. All right, um, I've already told you about diplomas, pictures and videos, there's information there on the live stream on how you can order. Guys, y'all be quiet, please. How you can order the video um, afterwards if you'd like to have a copy. All right, let's flip to the next one. It says parking. Your families are all going to want this information, guys. Parking for graduation will be a premium, meaning that everybody wants to get on campus, but not everybody will. 
Um, we will ask you guys to arrive through the main gate between five and six. Six is the last. I like want to take attendance by six. I want you in the gym by six at the latest. So I really want you here by five thirty. But anyway, I told you already where you're going to drive, where you're going to park. Um, I just want to point out to you that we do shut the roads down when the Parking lot starts to get full. Our sheriff's department shut Wayne Road and Corn Store down. So if you're not on campus at the time I've asked you to be, you could be stuck and not be able to get on the property at all. Has it happened? Yes, it has happened. We have been calling kids at 7 o'clock saying, where are you at? And they couldn't get on campus. So please make your plans to not get stuck in that situation. For your family, please let them know. We will open the gates at 5, open the stadium at 5. Um, we will also, let's see, additional parking will be at Austin Middle School and at Nebo. So if they would rather not go to the hospital coming on here, they can do a shuttle. So we will have shuttles that run from those two locations. The shuttles will start at 5.30, so they can go and get on a shuttle. It will bring them over here, drop them off, and they will run the shuttle back. Um, I think they run the shuttles until, I think they run until everybody's back home, but at around 10.30 p.m. We will have handicapped parking spaces available on campus. But please ask those people who are going to need handicapped parking to arrive early since those spaces fill quickly. One question I always get is if you have a handicapped family member. We do offer handicapped seating on the field for your family that may need that. But it is not, it is one person that comes with us. So if grandma needs handicapped seating, one person can accompany grandma and sit on the field, not the whole family. So go ahead and keep that in mind. When they get to the field, there will be gate workers at the field gate. They will tell them that they are in need of handicapped seating, like they can't go up into the bleachers, and they will help them find a seat. If you have questions about that, you can talk to me after, and I can help you figure that out. All right, guys, let's flip. We're almost done. You got your flower order. If your families would like to participate in that, they can read through the flower order for our stage flowers. Let's get to the page that says other reminders and miscellaneous information. All right. Guys, we already have our six theater elementary schools have given me their information for our senior walk. Senior walks, if you're, un if you're unfamiliar with that, your elementary school that you may have went to in Paulson County do a senior walk where you go to that elementary school at the time that they've designated, you wear your cap and gown, you walk through the school, you see old teachers, the little kids cheer you on. It's really sweet, so hopefully you'll be able to attend one of those. Your times are all here on the chart. If you attended a school that's not one of our six schools, let's say it's like Abney Elementary or something like that, they may still have a, um, they will still have a senior walk you can participate in. I just don't get that information because they're not one of our feeders, but that will be on their social media or you can call them and find out when their senior walk is. If you notice, guys, almost all of the senior walks are on Monday, May 20th. Um, Union is doing it on Friday, so just keep that in mind. But everybody else, it looks like it's Monday around the 12.45, 1 o'clock area. All right, moving on to senior voting. In the next couple of weeks, we have a lot of voting going on. Please make sure you turn your Canvas notifications on so you don't miss out on an opportunity to vote on some things like senior song, senior quote, um, senior teachers. You're going to have other things that we send out that we want you to vote on. I did go ahead and put the songs that are um, that Miss Naz gave me that were nominated. So next week, you're going to be voting on those for your senior song. You'll be choosing one for them. You guys can do your research and figure out which one you like. All right, guys. I've already talked about the next one. Let's see. Okay, last thing I want to say about cap and gown delivery on Monday is if you are work-based learning or minimum day, you can come at the end of the second block, beginning of third. Hey, y'all, hang on, hang on one second. Beginning of third. Let's get to the back really quick. We will let the teachers know. All right, guys. The last Take a seat. Take a seat. Hey, y'all. Take a seat. Oh. You're going to be nice. All right, guys. Your cords are coming from your seat. Guys, your cords, if you are wondering about that, that's distributed by your club sponsors. The only cord that we will give you on graduation practice day is your end of pathway cord. And that's if you pass the test. You have to take the three classes and pass the test. Everything else will come from club sponsors, so don't 
come and ask us about Santa Shoulders and Patty. I don't know where that's going to come from your teacher. All right, a reminder to you about funds and fees, plenty. And lastly, is just a reminder to be diligent with what you're doing in the next couple of months. This is a lot of information, guys. I'm going to post a video of this online. I'm going to post this online. And if you have any questions, come 